I think Ward 5 is unique because of its people. Uh, I think you take a trip through Ward 5, which I encourage residents to do, uh, you'll see a awesome mix of housing stock. You'll see a mix of uh, residents. You'll see our thriving business corridors like Rhode Island Avenue, like North Capitol Street. We've got the historic row homes in Bloomingdale. Uh, we've got communities in Trinidad and Brooklyn where you see beautiful Cape Cod housing. Uh, you see uh, historic neighborhoods throughout Ward 5. My motivation to pursue a career in public service began in my household, with my upbringing. My parents were uh, really inspiring to me and my siblings. My mom uh, worked in the government for years. My dad, uh, as well, retired from government. While they weren't really politically active, they cared a lot about the community. And so, you know, growing up in the District of Columbia during the times where uh, there was a lot of violence, a lot of poverty. Uh, I, I really had a solid foundation in my own home, and although it started with government service as a letter carrier, uh, it eventually inspired me to uh, resign from the Postal Service to go back to college uh, at UDC to transfer over to Howard University and eventually uh, attend law school. I've focused like a laser on improving the quality of life for all Ward 5 residents, regardless of your income, regardless of the neighborhood uh, in which you live, uh, really making sure that there are quality neighborhood schools. Uh, I've worked hard to expand opportunities for training and workforce development, as well as making sure that we have a quality affordable housing uh, across income levels for every resident of the District of Columbia, including the residents throughout Ward 5. As the new chair of the Committee on the Judiciary, I, I am pleased that it fits well into my background as a former prosecutor as well as a trial attorney at the United States Department of Justice. And so I'm excited about the opportunity to work with the community, stakeholders throughout the public safety cluster to really make sure that people feel safe in their communities, to make sure we're focusing on policies and legislation that uh, enhance justice and fairness, uh, that also take into account the concerns that residents have.